PIC board member Dudu Chatrayo says the board did not resign on their own accord but were given an ultimatum by, uh, to either resign or be fired. Chatrayo described the environment at the PIC following the surfacing of James Nogo emails as toxic and unproductive. She told of clear divisions on the board but said they, however, found a way to work together as adults. Shatoyo's version of what transpired when the board resigned differs from that of Deputy Finance Minister Monli Gungubele. He told the commission yesterday that the finance minister asked whether, as a board, they felt it was still proper for them to continue saving. Shatoyo, however, said they were not given any options but to leave. This is when he told the board that the minister wanted the whole board to resign immediately failing which the board will be fired by Monday the 4th of February 2019. Minister was going to appoint the new board that following week. The finance minister has since asked the board to continue its work until a new one is appointed. But with the confusion about their role, one board member has resigned, leaving it in Korate. Meanwhile, it emerged that James Noko sent an email to Finance Minister Tito Mboweni alleging impropriety in the current beef transaction. The email implicated former CEO Dan Majila, Shachwayo, and ANC's Paul Mashatile, amongst others. Shachwayo denied the allegations. I've given a blanket statement that denies all the allegations. And I can indeed maybe pronounce on some of them. Uh, there's one allegation that says um, two billion was then reserved for, for Paul Mashatile. That's actually not true. There's an allegation that says I was taken to meet with Paul Mashatile. And for the record of this commission, I would like to point out that I have never met Mr. Paul Mashatile with my own eyes, except for seeing him on television. The Companies and Intellectual Property Commission has requested the PIC to recoup a 4.3 billion investment made to IO Technology. The embattled fund manager said it had already appointed attorneys to help respond to the CIPC. The PIC is required to recover the capital investment of 4.3 billion rand made to IO Technology Investments within 15 days from the date of the compliance notice. Um, to provide the Commissioner of the CIPC with written confirmation that the PIC has recovered these funds. PIC has to recover the interest that may be accrued on the capital amount within six months from the date of the compliance notice. Meanwhile, the National Assembly has approved a Public Investment Corporations Amendment Bill aimed at strengthening governance and improved transparency at the fund manager. Clorasta Fagomusi, SABC News, Johannesburg.